In this video, I'm going to show you how I use abstraction to reduce the complexity of a program. And this program was written in Code.org's App Inventor. Now this is a real simple program. When I run it, I click on one of the four buttons. And it does two things. It makes everything on the screen disappear, all these elements. And it says, happy birthday ten times to the name on the button. So I click on Jennifer, made everything disappear, and says, happy birthday Jennifer ten times. Now let's look at the code that I used to make this happen. So, I click on the George button. It hides all five of the elements, the four buttons, and the title, whose birthday. Then it does a for loop that goes through ten times and says, happy birthday, George. We go down to the next button. When I click on Jennifer, exact same five lines of code, and then a for loop that says, happy birthday, Jennifer. So the code in all these four buttons is almost identical. The only difference is who it's saying happy birthday to. Really, only this word is different in all these four buttons. So I'm wasting a lot of time rewriting the exact same lines of code. This program was written without abstraction. Now I'm going to show you how I wrote it with abstraction. So we'll go over here. We see our text. We see our program is a lot shorter. So there's only two lines of code in each button event listener. We call the function make everything disappear, and the function say happy birthday, and we pass a string of text with the name of whosoever button it is. So let's first look at make everything disappear. We call make everything disappear. There's a function down here that makes all five elements disappear. And again, it's an abstraction because I pulled out the functionality of making everything disappear, put it in a function, and called it from multiple locations in my program. Now I did a second, second abstraction. I made a function called say happy birthday. Now this one has a parameter. It takes a variable name because it's going to act differently depending on what I pass it. On the George button, I pass a string George. On the Jennifer button, I pass a string Jennifer. So then when I go down, and I loop through 10 times, it says the string literal happy birthday, but then concatenates it with whatever data is inside the variable name. And whatever data is inside the variable name is whatever string I passed it when I called say happy birthday. So you can see I reduce the complexity of my code by abstracting away certain commands and certain things that were being done over and over again in my old code. If you want to take a look at these two different programs that do the same thing, one with abstraction, one without, the link will be in the YouTube video.